Being an apex predator means that you are the top of the food chain. You have no natural enemies. In the world of feline apex predators, there are two titans that stand out. The lion, a living embodiment of raw power and regal grace. This magnificent beast has captivated our imagination for thousands of years. And the tiger, a silent phantom that moves with lethal precision and strength that can shatter bone. This solitary sovereign is nature's perfect killing machine. For centuries, humans have wondered, in a battle between these two titans, who would emerge victorious? When it comes to predicting the outcome of a battle between a tiger and a lion, it's not as straightforward as it may seem. These majestic creatures possess unique characteristics that make the challenge of determining a clear winner even more intriguing. But this isn't just speculation. We'll also explore real historical encounters between these big cats. Let's start with a size and weight comparison. To simplify this matchup, we will look at the males and the largest of both species. Both lion and tiger females are slightly smaller than their male counterparts. Standing on all fours, the lion has a slight advantage, measuring around 3.5 to 3.9 feet at the shoulder, while a male tiger comes in at around 3 to 3.6 feet. When it comes to overall length, a tiger is longer on average with a lion measuring about 8.8 .8 feet and a tiger measuring about 9.8 feet. There has even been some reports over the years of tigers measuring in at over 11 feet. When it comes to weight, this is where tigers take the first real lead. Lions weigh in at an average of 410 pounds, with the heaviest male lions coming in at 550 pounds. Tigers on average weigh about 570 pounds, with the largest coming in at an astonishing 680 pounds, with incredible reports of tigers weighing over 800 pounds during the years. Both animals are powerfully built, but tigers tend to have more muscle mass relative to their body size. Lions have a more compact build, powerful forequarters. When it comes to speed, the lion takes the crown. These savanna sprinters can hit an impressive 50 miles per hour in short bursts. Tigers aren't far behind, clocking in at 40 miles per hour. To give you an idea of how incredible this is, by both big cats. On average, a domestic horse will normally achieve a running speed of around 30 miles per hour. In a race, the lion wins, but a fight isn't just about speed. Let's talk weapons. Both cats are armed to the teeth, literally. But the tiger's arsenal is truly impressive. And this is where the tiger truly shines. The lion's paws are incredibly strong and help the lion grip prey during attacks. The average size of a front foot is between 5 to 6 inches long and 4 to 5 inches wide. It is said that a lion can break a zebra's back with a well-placed paw swipe. A lion's paw swipe force is around 4,500 pounds. To put that into perspective, the average weight of a vehicle is around 4,100 pounds. And if you thought that was impressive, wait until you hear this. Tiger's paw is on average 8 inches long and 8 inches wide, and armed with extremely sharp claws. It is estimated that the force of a tiger's paw swipe is around 10,000 pounds of force. A tiger's swipe is one of its main weapons. Besides bears, a swipe from a tiger's paw is one of the most deadly in the animal kingdom. Tigers generally have larger skulls and jaws than lions by about 20 to 30%. Both tigers and lions have 30 teeth, the canine teeth of lions measuring between 2 to 2.5 inches. Tiger canines come in at an impressive 2.5 to 3.5 inches. Tigers also have a significantly stronger bite force than lions. This aligns with their larger skull and jaw structure. With a bite force of 1,050 pounds per square inch, tigers outclass lions, who exert about 650 psi. Tigers are solitary hunters that often take down larger prey. Their powerful jaws and longer teeth help them deliver killing bites to the neck or spine. Lions are social hunters that often hunt in groups. While their bite is still formidable, they rely more on suffocation techniques when killing prey. Before we give you our conclusion, let's travel back in time. Believe it or not, lions and tigers have faced off in recorded history. In the days of the Roman Empire, exotic animal fights were popular entertainment. In Roman arenas during gladiatorial games, lions and tigers were regularly pitted against each other. 
Almost always without exception, the tiger won. It is one of the few well-documented facts related to gladiatorial contests. Fast forward to 19th century India. The Gaikwad of Baroda, a princely state, arranged fights between the two big cats. In most of these encounters, the tiger also emerged victorious. Even in modern times, there have been rare, accidental encounters. In 2011, at Turkey's Ankara Zoo, a tiger killed a lion after breaking through a partition separating their enclosures. The tiger severed the lion's jugular vein in a single stroke with its paw. Can I quickly ask you to hit that like button if you are enjoying this content and consider becoming a member. It helps out this channel more than you know. Thank you. These historical accounts are fascinating, but it's crucial to remember that these were unnatural situations. In the wild, these animals would never normally encounter each other, let alone fight one another. In their natural habitats, both cats are perfectly adapted killing machines. Tigers are agile, ambush predators using stealth and bursts of raw power. Lions are fearless and often hunt in groups, taking down prey much larger than themselves. Lions, especially male lions, are equipped with a mane that provides some degree of protection in combat, particularly in fights with other lions. Male lions often engage in physical fights regarding territory or mating disputes within their pride. This could potentially give them an advantage in terms of fighting experience and strategy compared to tigers, who are mainly solitary animals and don't engage in as much combat with their species. On the other hand, a tiger's brain size is at least 16% bigger than that of a lion, giving it a strategic edge. The outcomes of hypothetical battles between these big cats would depend on numerous factors, including the individual animal's age, size, health, and experience. For this video, we would give the advantage in a one-on-one -on -one fight between these two amazing specimens to the tiger. We put the likelihood of a tiger winning as high as 80% of the time. The tiger is slightly taller, heavier, and stronger than the lion. They possess a more powerful bite and swipe force than the lion. And historic accounts point to the sheer ferocity and power of tigers in the wild. One thing to keep in mind though, Lions are unique in that they are social creatures, and as a pride, they are almost unstoppable. And they need every advantage because their prey is far from helpless. Take the wildebeest. These 600-pound antelopes can outrun a lion and deliver bone-crushing kicks, and zebras capable of landing blows that can break a lion's jaw. But the most formidable opponent is the Cape Buffalo. Weighing up to 1,800 pounds, with horns that can gore and toss a lion like a rag doll, these Black Death are respected and feared even by the most experienced lion prides. Yet against all odds, lions succeed. It's a testament to their strength, teamwork, and sheer determination. A pride of lions working together can bring down prey four times the size of an individual lion. But here's the tragic twist in our tale. Both these magnificent species are facing a far greater threat than each other. Tigers are critically endangered, with only about 3,900 left in the wild. Lion populations have dropped by 43% in just three generations. So while it's fascinating to imagine these epic showdowns, the reality is that both lions and tigers are in a fight for survival, not against each other, but against habitat loss, poaching, and human encroachment. The real question isn't who would win in a fight, but how can we ensure both these incredible species survive and thrive?